everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this very pretty triple puff stitch which has the added bonus of being a one row repeat so is super duper simple to remember. If you love all things crochet and are passionate about the craft then you have definitely come to the right place. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my future crochet videos. So this stitch is fully reversible which makes it perfect for scarves, cowls, blankets but please do be aware obviously it is a puff stitch therefore a bit of a yarn eater. I also cannot find anywhere the official name for this stitch. I've just been calling it a triple puff stitch so if you know the proper name for this stitch please let me know in the comments down below because I definitely like to try and get the correct names for stitches as and where I can. All right let's leap straight into how you crochet this triple puff stitch. To begin the triple puff stitch we're going to pop a slip knot on our hooks. Now the pattern multiple for this stitch is six plus five so what that means is you're going to chain in multiples of six 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 for as wide as you want your project to be then add five chains at the very end so i'm just going to be making a very small sample for you today i'm going to go ahead and chain 12 which is my multiple of six then add five for a total of 17 chains So that's my 17 chains to start. Now to begin we're going to work into the second chain from our hook. Now remember this loop on our hook does not count as anything. You want to count the completed chains only. So one, two and into this second chain I'm going to place a single crochet. Then skip two chains and into the next we're going to work our triple puff stitch. So to make your first puff you're going to yarn over and go into that chain and draw up a loop. Now bring it up nice and tall. Repeat that again, yarn over, go into that chain, draw up a loop, pull it up. Then one more time, yarn over, go into the chain, pull up a loop. You'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops on your hook. To complete your puff yarn over and draw through those first six loops. You'll have two loops left on your hook, yarn over and pull through both those loops. Chain two and we're going to work another puff stitch into this exact same chain. So just as before yarn over Go into the chain, draw up a loop, and do that two more times. Then yarn over, pull through the first six loops, then yarn over and pull through the final two. Chain two, and we're going to work our final puff stitch back into this exact same chain. So yarn over and pull up three times. Then yarn over, pull through the first six loops, then yarn over and pull through those final two. So the triple puff consists of puff, chain two, puff, chain two, puff. Now putting all these stitches into this one chain may make it a bit tricky for you to spot the chain next to it. So give it a little tug around so that this chain here hasn't got crunched up in all your stitches. So once you have clearly identified the chain right next to the one you've been working in, we're going to skip two and into that third chain, pop a single crochet. Skip two chains and then work your triple puff into the next. So that's puff stitch, chain two, puff stitch, chain two, puff stitch, 
all into that same chain. Then skip two chains, making sure you're not missing this one right next to it. Skip two and place a single crochet in the next. So you would repeat that all the way down the line. Skip two, triple puff, skip two, single crochet. Keep going and then when you reach the last three chains in this end chain, we're going to work a puff stitch chain two and then one more puff stitch into that final chain so we're ending with two puffs rather than three For row two, row two is the pattern repeat row. What that means is you're going to repeat this next row over and over and over until your project is the length you want it to be. So we're going to chain one and turn. Now to start, you're going to place a single crochet into the top of that puff stitch that you just made. So pop a single crochet in there. Then we're going to work our triple puffs, which is puff stitch, chain two, puff stitch, chain two, puff stitch. We're going to work those into the single crochet that you made on the row below. So in between your puffs, you've got your single crochet here. Work your triple puff into that single crochet stitch. Once you've worked your triple puff stitch, pop a single crochet into the second puff from the row below. So find the middle of those three, rotate it slightly so you can see the top of that stitch and pop a single crochet in there. Then continue that all the way down your row into the single crochet from the row below, work your triple puffs, and then pop your single crochet into the middle of the puff from the row below. Once you reach the end of your row and this final triple puff, and you've popped your single crochet into the top, you'll have a single crochet right here at the end. You may want to rotate your work slightly to spot it. And into that single crochet, we're going to end with puff stitch, chain two, puff stitch. Chain two, 
So instead of three puffs, we're ending with two. And that is all there is to it. You simply repeat the second row over and over again. So chain one, turn, pop a single crochet into the top of that puff stitch. Then work your triple puffs in the single crochet in the row below and pop your single crochet in the middle of your triple puffs from the row below. Then, once you have completed your last single crochet of the row, into the single crochet from the row below, end with puff, chain two, puff. So as you can see on my larger sample here, it works up very, very quickly and the rows offset from each other and the edges have these very pretty little puffs on either side. I absolutely love this stitch. I'm a big fan of it. You can tell when I like a stitch because the sample I make ends up being very, very large. This is destined to become a scarf for me personally, and I'm super excited and keen to get it finished. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please do let me know what you think of this triple puff stitch in the comment section below. And as I mentioned in the beginning, if you know its official name, please drop that down there too. I would dearly love to know what this stitch is actually called. So until next time, happy triple puffing. Bye.